we are in Kew Gardens, Queens, the land of, let's try to find good parking. <laughs> it's just not happening. And you don't want to ever, ever, ever park in front of a pump. Hello? Hi, good morning. This is Mike from the Pipe Hello. Doctor. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm at your front door. Okay. I'm open to the okay, thank you. Do me a favor, scan this QR phone in right now with your phone. Make a donation to the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy Nonprofit Travel Organization. Hi, how are you? Give her a water heater, yes? Okay. Don't cross my path, you black cat. Here to help. Let's see what's going on and get this working for you. Like Fort Knox, everything locked up. Yeah. This is a good part of Queens, actually. Yeah, nice part. Like a holiday song. Yeah. Okay. Let's go see. So far, so good. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay. No. Gotcha. So you have two water, he two family house, right? Yes. So you have two water heaters. This one is the first. The two boilers. Door, and the other one is the first floor. Okay. Is there a light in here? No. No. Okay. And any idea why this was not connected? Who installed the pl the water heater? Uh, the one plumber. This was in 2000... 2020? 2020. And what's it been doing lately? It's, it's not uh, hitting. They changed the... No drip legs? Yeah. What did they change? Final vapor sensor. Let's see what the error is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven flashes is flammable vapor sensor reset. So, ma'am, you had the gas valve replaced, which was that white box, right? Mm -hmm. And you also had the sensor replaced. And it, did, it, did it work after that? No. Didn't work after that. <laughs> Did they have, I wonder if they ever reset it. Have the switch off and unplug the internet. Oh, it's a, okay, it's low. Turn the switch to off and then unplug it, right? In a second, yeah. while we plug it back in, you'll turn the valve to the on position and go from low to very high seven times. How many times? Seven. Seven times. So from low to very hot, seven times. And very hot, very hot is is before hot. Oh, actually, hold on a second. So low, okay, low is all the way counterclockwise and very hot is all the way clockwise. Okay, so we're going to start it. We're going to start with the switch off. We're going to turn it on. The dial is going to start at low. We're going to go to very hot. And we're going to do that seven times. Correct. Okay. All right, ma'am, you ready? Plug it in. Plug it in. Okay, let's try it. To on. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. My light is solid blue, kind of like like a heartbeat. It's the boiler behind me. <laughs> it is like a little heartbeat. So it's like a bright blue and then a dimmer blue. Okay, so it's going on for heat. Okay, and then you have a burner for him at all? Um, nothing yet. Okay, 
Yeah, no. Oh, hold on. I'm hearing ticking. I thought it was one of the boilers behind me. I think it's the water heater. Oh, I can see it ticking. Yep, so I have spark, but I'm not getting ignition. Let's see. Oh, just where did it go? There it is. So I, I can actually see very barely the you know the flame ignite the uh, the spark igniter, but it's not igniting. Uh, we may have to check gas. We have to check gas going to the gas valve. Uh huh. But you're not getting any flashes or anything. Just a steady heartbeat. A right? steady heartbeat, correct? Yep. Okay. So yeah, it should be the heartbeat flash means that it's trying to call for heat. So now I have a, an error code. Let's see what it is. We have one, two, no, nope. solid one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. So I'm getting one flash followed by six flashes. Okay, so the six one. That's probably good. Ignition, ignition failure. All right, let me get some tools and uh, I'll give you guys a call back. Okay. Okay, remove the pilot tubing from the bottom of the gas valve. There's no gas coming out of the valve. There's no gas coming out of the valve. Hmm. Ah! So it wasn't relighting because the gas valve, the gas cock, was in the off position. So no gas was flowing to the Honeywell gas control valve, and hence no gas is gonna flow out of the pilot uh, valve off the main Honeywell gas valve. Uh, so I relit it, right? It relit. We had good combustion, visually. Um, showed her that it's working. And I told her, I was like, uh, you maybe had some paint cans in here or something flammable was sensed and you know, the flammable vapor sensor went and I guess they uh, changed the valve and or the flammable vapor sensor at the same time or different times, I don't know. But both gas valves had the same exact failure, which is the seven flashes. Both of them had the same thing. I put the other one back in, all right. Um, and then I said, okay, it's running. And, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off the gas to the water heater. I'm gonna turn the, the switch off. Uh, this water heater and the other one, I'm not here for that one, but this water heater is not installed to code and it's not installed to, uh, to manufacturer specifications. And it is my company policy that we will not leave something in an operable state if it's not installed to code. That's my policy. It hasn't always been the policy, but in the last year or two, that's been the, that's been the policy, especially with when I'm dealing with, you know, A.O. Smith and Ream as their eyes and ears on the ground, right? I have to protect their best interest my company's best interest, but most importantly, most importantly, the end user, the homeowner, the client's best interest, right? If God forbid so they're in that boiler room and this thing malfunctions and it sprays scalding hot water, they're gonna be severely injured because there's no drip leg, right? Um, not to mention the fact that the exhaust pipe is not secure to the uh, that damper assembly on the top. So I told her, I was like, um, if you like, I can make these corrections for you. It's gonna cost X amount of dollars. And she's like, why so expensive? It's like, ma'am, I'm not here to debate it with you, but this is what it's gonna cost, right? And ladies and gentlemen, if you think it costs you $5 to have a three quarter inch press by mail adapter on your truck, you're smoking some crack. Because you have obviously no cost or no comprehension of what it costs to operate a business and the cost of goods sold. You have no idea. If you think costs, if you think your your cost to have a drip leg made of copper and a male adapter on your truck costs, let's say 20 bucks, you're charging 20 bucks for that? Well, you're a fool and well, let me take that back. You have no idea how to price the items that you sell to your end user.
Tell it like it is. You don't, right? So there's a reason why my price is X amount of dollars. And let me tell you something. There's a three. It's a three-digit number with with a decimal point followed by two other d digits. Okay. I'm not giving you the exact price because that's a moot point. But if you think, right, it costs if it costs you twenty dollars direct cost to have to purchase the the acquisition of those two parts, right? And if you're selling for twenty bucks, well. You must be a gazillionaire and independently wealthy and not being not making any money off of plumbing. This is not like it is. If you think I'm going to touch that exhaust pipe and secure it with three screws, that smoke 90 going into that um, draft hood, you think I'm doing that for free, you're selling mistake. And what happens? What happens when that falls apart? And now I'm spending half a day running around the five boroughs of New York City looking for a smoke Y, smoke pipe, and blah, 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 which I don't have in the truck, right? Because this is a small little Mercedes Metris cargo van, right? This is my little schlepper mobile, right? I do little jobs in this thing, right? What do you think that's going to cost me, right? So if you're going to do something for free, when it bites you in the ass, don't say Mikey Pipes didn't tell you so. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to me and watching the channel. I really appreciate it. We've grown uh, tremendously over the, over the years, thanks to every single one of you. And I appreciate the loyalty to the channel, and to me, and to my company. And you know what? This YouTube platform has been, look, I rolled through a stop sign. This YouTube platform has been a blessing for my entire team. And um, you know, we're now in South Carolina, soon to be in, in Florida. So I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, just take a moment, just a moment of silence, uh, and let's let's pray for those who have been kidnapped by terrorist pigs in uh, in in the Gaza Strip. And let's pray for all of the all of the the fight all of the fighters, all the IDF. Israeli Defense Forces and all the civilians of Israel. May God keep and protect them all. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, Mikey Pipes signing off.